So New World has been a game that I've been interested in since before it got released. I was pretty hype. We all, me and my friends got together. We were ready to jump on this game and we did. It launched last year and we were hardcore in the thing. Uh, but then we ran into a few problems and to the point that by November, pretty much everyone was gone for the game. Sad. Yes, very disappointing. However, I've been hearing rumors that it got better. They made some changes. They started listening to the community, a lot of things like that. And uh, I started playing it and uh, yeah, no, it's pretty good. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it now. And the brainstorm update that's coming out is uh, looks good. I went into the PTR. I've been streaming it a lot and I'm enjoying it. So, and then I found this video about gear because i was interesting about how gear works now because i heard there's some pretty big changes on it and i saw this video by uh demon kim and great guy you guys should definitely go sub to his channel and i'm like let's, let me watch this video with my friend silo silva ha more has a, uh, has a much bigger experience in the game he put a ton of hours when the thing got released until he stopped playing himself and see what his thoughts are you know and and discuss you know what the changes are and what how do we feel about him so yeah let's uh Let's react to this video because it's it's pretty freaking amazing. We're actually going to talk about gear score, watermarking, um, how watermarking has basically changed to expertise and what that means for you. And I want to talk about the transition that I think New World is making in terms of what direction they want to go. Now, do you know what he's talking about? Uh, it sounds like some of the things were already in game and I wasn't mm -hmm. aware. Expertise was added, yes, shortly yeah. after you were gone. Yeah, right, right. sort of like extra levels on different weapon skills after you max them out and how was that was it something that you added it. or was it something that was just generated or how you, did that work you gained through play i All didn't right. get deep into earning the expertise at the time but as i understood it is you earned them essentially through a lot the same way that you get um the weapon experience now Oh, okay. It's just that you gain that after. I know a lot of people stopped playing the game when they hit level 60 and they found out they had an open chest for 15 hours uh, just to hope and pray um, that they would get a gear score increase or whatever. Trust me, I know we did it. We farmed a damn cave until I was yeah, The watermarking was terrible. Do you remember what the watermarking was? No, I don't remember what it was. Okay. So if you had a piece of gear in a particular slot, right? Like any mm -hmm. individual piece of gear, whatever its gear score was, that was your watermark for that piece of gear. Snapshotting gear, your watermark was based on the highest level or highest item level piece of gear you ever put on in that slot. So the gear that would drop for you was based on your watermark. Range above and below. Right, your okay, okay. And that's why we have to keep doing it because right. it could that's be high or it could be low. Like, yeah. And farm and farm okay, I got you. I got you. One or two more gear score higher piece of gear so you could slide your watermark up just a, I remember a now. bit more to try to get another piece of gear to boost you more. God, I freaking hated that. I remember now. <laughs> which, which means we were always putting on stupid right. pieces of gear temporarily to snap Just to be able mark. to, exactly, exactly. Right. Even if it was complete crap, just because the gear score was higher for that slot, and then you'd throw it away because that moved your watermark up. That's what he's saying here is going away. Thank with freaking the, the goodness. The PTR. Yeah, I'd never, never <laughs> liked that watermark system. It was stupid. <laughs> As we get into this, guys, I need you to just go ahead and forget about everything that used to be in this game. If you haven't played in longer than four <laughs> months, uh, it's just completely different. <laughs> oh, damn, what a statement. Like, yeah, if you haven't been around the last, you know, last four months, yeah. it, it, you don't know nothing. So shut up and listen. Okay, we'll listen. Let me explain yeah, how that's this works, good. essentially. You'll be able to, of course, level up, do your progression thing. Uh, once you get to a certain level in the game, uh, you'll it, you'll be able to start working on your expertise. Uh, your expertise starts at 500 and it gets to 600. But sounds similar to what watermarking used to be. They now oh. track and tell you what your gear score is for that oh. particular item slot. But what's different is, is now okay, so that's it's what's showing on the left hand side of his gear now where it's a 625 that must be his current expertise for that slot oh so he's now marked there and he said hey this is Correct. this is what oh okay, shoot okay his, i see here on the left ring slot is, yes if you look at his earring slot that's uh -huh. 600 versus the others are so, the ones that, so they're all different but is that number stale does it change depending on the gear that's there or does it stay it throughout would depend on what your it would 
that's your current expertise level. And if what Ansel is saying is correct, that's equivalent to your watermark level. So what that's doing then is, is just allowing us to see what our current expertise that's slash freaking awesome. okay. watermark it. Well, it is and it isn't. It's uh, nice that we know, right? Dude, like knowing showing it, but if that hasn't changed the system on how you get gear, it's eh? still yeah, but it's still helpful because remember, I mean, coming from freaking hitting oh, mechanics yeah, we, we like had, BVO, guess, it's like right. a, seriously, yeah. <laughs> like just yeah, yeah. freaking tell me, man, so I know what I'm working towards and I know that I'm making progress. You know, right. knowing right. that right. is it's like it's way better to progress. It makes you feel like you're getting somewhere. You then just like. Where are we at? Well, my last gear score was this, and maybe I'll right. be around this mark. You know what I mean? It's, it's, oh. well, and, and at least we'll be able to see whether the random piece of silly gear we're putting on to bump that up right. is higher or lower than what we, we'd actually had before. So, uh, it's never, As it says, the purple number stays the same. If you equip gear lower, hours between them, that's what your effective level is. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So the purple number is what we're saying is that's your... That's your expertise slash watermark. Right. Okay. So yeah. Stay yeah. the same. Whatever your highest level. Oh, is. I didn't realize so they were purple. Is, now I if, see it. Okay. <laughs> if if the piece of gear you put on is lower than that number. Okay. Yeah. Your effective gear score is the average between the between two. the two. Whatever you got and what the expert tick is. Okay. Right. Got it. Right. Got it. So what I don't know based on reading that, and I'm sure I answer could be this: What does effective level, for lack of a better term here, affect within the game? Right. All right, well, let's give a listen right, and see so what he comes So that would mean you technically have three different gear levels you need to think about. Your actual level, your effective level, and your maximum level, which maximum would be expertise or watermark. So that means that's the highest piece of gear you can possibly drop. Correct. Okay. Yeah. They've also incorporated a new system known as gypsum, uh, which with the gypsum cast, you can basically turn these in to get specific items. So if you're trying to rush to get a specific item higher faster, you can use the gypsum that you'll get from quests and dungeons and all over the place really now, especially since they started incorporating gypsum in quest rewards. Um, you can use the system to upgrade that particular item or, or piece of gear really quickly. So this drops, the gypsum drops from quests, you dro it's just going to drop everywhere. Yeah, we already have one there. So I have a garnet gypsum inventory that we got from the pvp stuff as a mm -hmm. reward um so yeah all right oh I, yeah i saw I that i saw that. yeah i think i had one i didn't i didn't understand what it was for fully so i just banked it for the time being but right what that is new world has now shifted more towards um creative flow meaning that if you are more of a pvp -er, you can do that if you're a pve -er, um your rewards are a lot more fruitful and the content that you will complete is a lot more meaningful so getting your gear score up per se is not as difficult. Uh, so you can get these things called umbral shards. Now these umbral shards are used to level up your gear. You just kind of drag them over and you get your gear from 600 to 625. You gain some extra bonus stats, so on and so forth. But the cool thing about umbral shards and a big change that they've made is you can start using your umbral shards on gear that's level 590. So it doesn't Ooh. necessarily. Yeah, have to this be got me excited right so here. Let me show you an example of a musket that I got was 590. So power shot kills reduce this ability's cooldown by I think it was at 95 percent at 590. So when I also it continues to scale even as he levels it. Oh shoot, yeah, that's good. I yep. use the umbral shards to upgrade it to 625, went up to 98%, and it also gave me Vorpal with the plus 15% headshot damage. So if you're finding weapons in the world that you actually really, really enjoy, or you like what it does, you can then invest the umbral shards to take those 590 pieces so you can get in the game and then level them up. What, I, what I'm trying to get to is also trying to understand is the gems that he's talking about. This one's right here. Uh... Did he hover them? Yeah, the umbral gems. The yeah. umbral gems. Are those in the game yep, already? That's... I don't know if they're in the game already or if that's a PTR thing. It is in game in already. Game. Okay. okay. All right. But from what I understand, it sounds like you could only use him at like 600 and above. From what it sounds like. like. No, no. Now well, you maybe, can. Maybe now. 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 Yeah, yeah. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's possible. Okay. So that must be the people that I've seen in chat <laughs> asking to buy shards. So that's the shard they're probably trying to buy. So that's, that's probably it. Too, but that's freaking great, right? Because... Yeah, because in the past... It, it, is, it is good, because with the crafting being 
No, let's thanks for the follow. Predominantly random in the gear drops being random like mm-hmm. that. Right? Like you were said before, if you land on your magic piece of gear, right? It's the right stats, the right um, add-ons that you like, right? To match the way that you want to play. Right. And you get one that's 10 gear score higher, but it's got all the wrong everything. Mm-hmm. Well, you're never going to put that one on this. And you, that higher, happened to right? me a lot back yeah. then. Yeah. That I was like, man, I love this staff. It has all the stuff I want, but I can't, I can't take it with me. I got to move up right. in the right. gear. Well, so. The other neat, so the other side effect of this, which is kind of interesting, well, at least to me, and maybe to somebody like Ansel who, you know, PVPs and decorates his house. Um, this also creates an option for a particular look of gear. Oh, that's maybe true. You get a 590 staff that you that's got the right stuff on it that you really like the look of better than the 625 yeah, drops yeah, or whatever. Yeah, we can look at that one. Because you like the look. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's, that's true. That's true. It's transmogging in the game, but. It was always kind of clunky when we played with it before, so I wonder how it I mean, is now. I haven't tried it. Expensive way, yeah. I, I imagine getting the umbral shards isn't super easy, right? And that you have to do the mutated dungeons is going to take a while to accumulate enough to you know build them up. But yeah, it's just an interesting side effect of the feature. This is what got me really excited to me here because I'm like, if, if, I'm always, I always have said it many times, and it's something that most MMOs that start out like this. You know hopefully get sooner than later understand that when you can see your progress when you can feel even if it is minute if you can feel your progress you will stick it out longer if you don't feel oh, your progress this is a, this you is a will give up it will lo- you will lose yeah. players I, I, i've been playing we played black desert for years the one of the the most thing that made Maybe black desert pieces. lose so many players was because of that there was yep. no way to know whether you were even near the ability to get some of these items. You know, it's just right. like whenever. You know? right. <laughs> you know? This this is the equivalent of the pity piece drop. And exactly, like, exactly. Yeah. That's what it was right. to me. It's an it's an alternate progression path, which Freaking is amazing. A hundred and eighty hours in, and maybe you right. you're close. Who the hell knows? You know, right. but at least now they have the pdp that it's like oh i'm collecting these pieces i'm making progress even if i don't get there but at least i know that right. there is an end to this thing you know right. but what in I here it just this, never felt that way target your gear upgrades too yeah that's which, true which is excellent yeah no I, it, this is all good stuff so far. because you don't have to use the gems on everything i mean you can just pick and choose you're like all right this is the important right. piece that yeah, i want to yeah. use it yeah. on i assume so those say, suckers you know, are not cheap Right. I assume that crap is you, expensive. You've gotten pretty good armor drops along leveling, but your staff, <laughs> you, man, you've been trying for weeks and you just can't get a staff to drop. Well, you can keep your staff moving along using those umbral shards. And now with the data mining, we know that loads or build outs, so for those of you guys who don't know what a loadout is, it's basically you being able to click a button and change your entire build at once. What? That's. Wait. Well, I really hope that's coming. Wait, is that coming or is that in. Wait, what? basically you being able to click a button and change your entire build at once without you having to sort through all your gear or your swords and all that bullshit and then you could just have preset loadouts that you could just swap from whatever let's say your pve build to your pvp build to whatever weapon build so on and so forth and as they move in that direction um things are becoming a lot more smoother so the focus is not necessarily well, on just amazing. leveling up. oh dude that sounds freaking amazing dude that i didn't understand things like weapon specializations and attributes so i could go from i'm just you know for example from being a tank to a healer click of a button uh yeah that is a lot of stuff that he does talk about that does come from data mining which i know is not 100 percent guarantee but it's just but so far what he's talked about is already in the ptr though which is good brimstone sands kind of blew my mind <laughs> okay uh because when i got into brimstone sands <clears> literally <throat> i'm doing quests and i'm getting gear that's over 600 Right, so they're giving you gear that's wow, actually really what cool. on quest? Holy hell! Okay, all right. So that so they're right away. Do we even got any gear that high in the main quest right now? I don't think so, right? No, no, no. No, it had to be always from the dungeons, as far as I knew. For those of you guys who are sitting at six hundred and you guys are still trying to get to six twenty-five, worry not. 
Brimstone Sands is definitely, definitely, definitely going to help you out. Uh, this is dude, there's still players sitting at 60, 600, and they're oh, still absolutely. grinding out to try to get that, that those absolutely. pieces. I never made it to max either. Yeah, the quest not to mention, <laughs> um, you're also getting like the gypsum orbs and stuff that you'll be using from quests as well, as well as umbral shards. There's a quest that I did that gave me a thousand umbral shards, so you can incorporate Jesus. your actual story and game progression alongside of the other things that you're going to end up doing anyway. That's I, I like to know what the cost is and this is why i'm thinking about going back into the ptr and checking that out like how mm -hmm. many how many does it take and how much does it move the gear score on the gear when you use the ambrel charts on them mm -hmm. yeah that would be really interesting to know and is there anything we can do ahead of time if if we were to decide not to start fresh you know or and right. we want to take is there anything we could do to prepare for those things or maybe everything is completely new yeah, once you hit 600, going up to 650 is in the heart from here. It has been in game for months. Okay, so they have made some changes to make that easier already. Okay. The game is no longer uh, in a position where you feel like you're forced uh, to do one specific thing, right? Which really just burnt, the, burnt a lot of people out. Like for me, it was chess. I, I like I, I swore to myself I would never open. Isn't that what did it for you? Yeah, I hated that runs. I hated those chess <laughs> runs so much. It was the dumbest "quote unquote" end game that ever existed. I don't think I, I don't think I did that. Can you explain to me a little bit what what that was? I didn't no. So in the end game elite zones, right? Um, there are chests in the world, elite um, coffers, I think they were called, or ancient coffers, one of the two, um, that you can open once every twenty four hours. Oh. And that chest has a higher than average chance of dropping a good piece of gear, right? A legitimately good piece of gear. Um, so since those are all in the high end elite zones, uh -huh. soloing those only a few people could manage. Yes, really? So what you'd have is you have trains of 20, 30, 50, a hundred people all together what a hundred elite zone run in loops around these elite zones oh my god looting the chest and you do that every day how many total chests were there and the world we did i, I don't use? remember i don't remember <laughs> it was so dumb oh wow jesus okay to, i'm, to I'm glad i didn't do that of, to me it's the equivalent of like crystal Lee talking about the zergs and guild wars you know world versus world oh okay okay like, yeah, you yeah. Just, you just follow the zerg train and you're fine and you get all this stuff well, like oh yeah yeah dead boring dumb. yeah if yeah you i always feel that way a mob you were doing good right like <laughs> because there's collision and stuff right so you get 50 people all trying to hit oh man and mob. then the lag and everything any bugs and stuff yeah, oh jesus dude. 50 people trying to loot a chest and you know it's just it's just dumb okay it's just so I, dumb i'm definitely guy then i didn't do any of that <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> or do another chest run again and i'm sticking to you you won't catch me dead doing like a chest <laughs> he's done with those things too. like materials or something but i understand that <laughs> yeah, so i wanted to gear that score said, works mm -hmm. if it's a group of like five people going to do that so there's actually some challenge and you're having fun killing the elites it's not terrible yeah i right? can see if that i've never been a fun at just running around with a just ton of people it, yeah, if you're at a you know a group of twenty people running, it just it's just silly. Yeah, it, there's no there's no enjoyment in it anymore. So essentially, end game group activity, but not an instance where everyone that we're particularly have at the same spot. Yeah, pretty much. Correct. It's very guided. You'll feel like your progression matters. The things that you do because they've increased the rewards of the dungeons and all kinds of stuff, and just the way the overall game flows. So you guys won't feel stuck as much or like feeling like again you have to grind something endlessly for a ridiculous amount of time to even be relevant and the overall gameplay flow of just the progression is so so much smoother so i cannot stress this enough guys i've been playing this damn game since alpha 2 and <laughs> he sounds, he's i look at him like he sounds like like the weight of yeah. the nightmares he's gone through since release of this yeah. game is yeah. like how oh, freaking finally <laughs> Oh, you, you can yeah. feel it on him like thank you freaking finally all this is gonna come around jesus right right <laughs>
it's night and day. All right, literally completely different game. So I'm just referring to New World as Old World now. You know, <laughs> yeah. the old, old World is Old World. And then now what we have now is actually New World. That's why I titled my stream though, that New, New World. So, uh, just a quick video, guys. I just wanted to kind of... Uh, like, there we go. There we go. That was, that was great. This guy is really good, guys, man. Uh, here's the link, guys. Yeah. You guys check him out. But that's that's uh, that's great, man. I'm I'm looking forward to, to that. I'd like to know, but that's why I think I need to go back to the PTR and find out and also find out in live servers. What do we have now, you know, available? Because it seems like yeah, there's that, some that, things that are already in there. To answer those questions, right? Yeah. Um.